Every mythology talks about the existence of different unique worlds or realms that are well separated from each other. Of them, the most common worlds that exist are heaven and hell. But some mythologies have seen the existence of more than just the heaven and hell. These realms are so unique and add interesting storylines to the folklore. Irish mythology talks about a land of eternal youth, which is a world of most lavish and extravagant beauty. There is a legend about a warrior who traveled to this land of eternal beauty, but gave it up because of the love he had for his country and people and his desire to return to them once more. This warrior is named Oshing. Oshing was the son of Finn Macool, who is another prominent character found in Irish mythology. Finn Macool is described as a warrior of the Fianna tribe. Legends talk about how he achieved many victories because of his bravery. In Finn Macool's story, he comes across a woman named Sardab, who has been turned into a deer under a curse by a druid named Fyrdoirich, whom she refused to marry. In Irish culture, Druids basically the religious leaders, as well as legal authorities, adjudicators, law keepers, medical professionals and political advisers. Finn Macool and Sardab fell in love, and they lived happily for some time. When Fear Doirich learned about Sardab's newfound love, he reached her at a time Finn Macool was away, and turned her back to a deer. But this time the curse was permanent. Unable to transform back to her human form, Sardab disappeared into the wilderness. But at the time she was pregnant. When Finn Macool returned from his adventure, his wife was long gone. He spent years searching for her but was unable to. Seven years later, while Finn Macool was still looking for Sardab with the help of his dogs, his dogs found him a fawn. Just like his wife, the fawn transformed into a human boy. On seeing the resemblance of both him and his beloved, Finn Macool knew the boy was his son with Sardab. He named the boy Oshing, which has the meaning, the young deer. Oshing then grew up with his father, and just as Finn Macool, Oshing became a mighty warrior. As for some stories, Oshing met his father as an adult. When they were hunting, Finn Macool and Oshing met each other and started arguing over a roasted pig. But they soon recognized each other and were reunited. Oshing was well respected and loved by the Fianna people, not only because of the mighty warrior he is, but also because he was kind and generous to all those he met. Word soon spread about Oshing, even to the realms that humans couldn't reach. One such land was Tiernenog, which is the land of youth. The immortal princess Neov, who is a fairy woman and the daughter of the king of Tiernanog, also heard about the mighty warrior Oshing, as a man who has won not only many adventures, but also love and respect of the locals. She desired to meet the young warrior and journeyed to the land of humans on her majestic white horse Embar. Oshing, who was out hunting, saw the beautiful Neov with the long golden hair emerging from the water on her grand horse. Both Oshing and Neov madly fell in love as soon as their eyes met. Neov told him of the land she came from, and that she desired to take him back with her, to be her husband. Oshing right away accepted the invitation and journeyed to the land of youth with his beloved. Tiernanog was a paradise with all the beauty and luxury one could ever imagine. Sorrow, sickness, poverty are not known in this land. Oshing and Neov was married, and eventually, he became the ruler of the land of youth. Other stories say, that because people in Tiernanog does not age and rarely die, the kingship is crowned to the champion who win a race. Every seven years the ruling king and men, who are worthy to be king, gather up for the competition. They run up a hill to a throne, and the first person to sit on the throne becomes the king, until a champion replaces him. Neov's father, who is the ruler of Tiernanog for the longest period, consulted a druid and asked about his fate as a monarch. 
The Druid prophesized that he will always be king, unless his son-in-law runs against him. At the time, Neev was not married, and the king began to worry about her future husband. He wanted her husband to be someone worthy of being the future king of Tiananog. With Druid's magic, he turned his daughter's head into that of a pig, so no man with a blind heart would fall in love with her. The Druid informed Neev of Oshing, and that it is possible he could break the spell. Neev visited Oshing and told him about the curse, and that he could break it, if he falls in love with her, despite of how she looks. As the Druid expected, Oshing fell in love with Neev and married her. Just as prophesied, Neev's pig head disappeared, and she returned to her beautiful self. Oshing then followed his bride to Tiananog, and entered the challenge for the throne in which he won the kingship. Oshing lived a happy life with Neev and had three children with her. They are Oscar, who is the most famous of the three, a daughter named Plornamban, which has the meaning, flower of women, and a second son named Finn. Even though Oshing had all the happiness and everything he desired in Tiananog, he longed for his homeland, his father and the people he left behind. After three years, Oshing terribly missed Ireland and convinced his wife to let him visit. Reluctantly Neev agreed, and let him burrow her horse Embar. She warned him never to set his foot on the land, or he would never be able to return to Tiananog. With the warning in mind, Oshing set out to his homeland. But once he reached there, everything has changed and there was nothing he could recognize. His father's magnificent castle is now in ruins, and the people he met are unfamiliar to him. He realized time in Tiananog has passed much slower than in Ireland. What seems like three years in Tiananog is actually 300 years in Ireland. Heartbroken, Oshing decided to leave back to Tiananog. On his way, he ran into three old men, who were trying to move a huge rock. Oshing could not resist the urge to help them. When he bends down from the horse to help, the saddle broke and he fell onto the ground. As soon as he touched the ground, 300 years caught up to him, and he aged irreversibly, turning into an old and withered man. Soon after, Oshing died out of old age. Shocked by what just witnessed, Imba fled to the forest and got lost in the wilderness. Neev, who is unaware of what happened to her husband, is said to still wait for him in the land of youth, unable to reach the human world without her magical horse. She still longs for the day her beloved would return from his visit to Ireland. In Irish folklore, it is believed that one can find the entrance for the land of youth in the depths of wells, on the brink of horizons, and inside of caves. Looking through these gates is Neev, who waits for her lover, unable to reach the human world. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My Patreon and subscribers, thank you so much for your amazing support. If haven't already, would very much appreciate if you could help out the channel by being a Patreon and a subscriber. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in another story to tell.